T-Mobile and AT&T push back on 60-day unlock rule, warning consumers will pay the price. Regulations are actively investigating companies and are now making greater efforts to protect consumer rights. They also have laws in place to ensure healthy competition remains intact. Recently, more freedom has been given to consumers, whether it comes to choices or processes. U.S. regulators have proposed a more flexible option for consumers, including the requirement to unlock phones within 60 days of activation. Big telecommunications service providers such as AT&T and T-Mobile are advocating against the given proposal. T-Mobile and AT&T want U.S. regulators to drop their plan of unlocking the phones within 60 days of activation The FCC is working arduously for consumer rights and freedom. It has proposed that mobile service providers unlock devices within 60 days of the consumer purchasing and activating the phone. In July, it even approved a notice of proposed rulemaking, NPRM for this new unlock policy with a unanimous 5-0 vote, as reported by Slashdot. The aim of this policy is to make it easier ref. or consumers to switch between carriers without the restriction of locked phones. Telecommunications service providers such as T-Mobile and AT&T have opposed the initiative, claiming the move would not only be detrimental to their business but also adversely impact consumers in the form of increased costs. In their argument, they suggest that due to the option of locking phones, they are able to provide consumers with subsidized devices at a lower price. The move would take away the ability of the companies to recover costs over time and would disrupt the pricing structure. The consumers would eventually have to pay an overall higher cost up front. Their stance is, if the commission mandates a uniform unlocking policy, it is consumers, not providers, who stand to lose the most. T-Mobile on October 17, expressed its dismay on the proposed unlocking rule in a filing with the Federal Communications Commission FCC. However, the proposed rule has garnered support from consumer advocacy groups who believe the rule would allow for better competition, more choices, and eventually better D. E. As and services. Since the discussions are ongoing, there is tension between consumer rights advocates and carriers. T-Mobile has faced criticism for keeping phones locked up for a year and limiting customers' ability to switch carriers during this period. The company still persists that such a move would lead to consumers having fewer affordable phone options as carriers would be less enthusiastic about offering deals on flagship smartphones as there would be less guarantee of customer retention. Companies are facing intense pressure from regulations, tightening rules and laws and ensuring consumer rights are protected. Telecommunications service providers have long relied on lock-in periods to recoup the costs of phone deals. If this rule is implemented, it might change how these carriers structure their business models.